Holy Ghost is God in the earth today, and we walk with Him by saying words. This is the Holy only kind Ghost of faith God that Jesus is today. going to return to. And if we do our job, we can hasten His return. The Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and you walk with him by saying words my name is Andrew Hemstraw thanks for joining us if this is your first time here make sure you subscribe and if this is not your first time here and these messages are blessing you then consider becoming a partner with us Luke chapter 18 verse 8 when the Son of Man cometh shall he find faith on the earth this is a statement that's extremely telling and loaded with profound implication for our day say for our day. for our day let's read it again nevertheless when say when, when. what does that mean well, I mean when well it means there's it's there's a time right when has to do with time so he's gonna say when at this time right when the son of man cometh now the uh, new living translation and, and others say returns and we know that right when the son of man returns now who's the son of man this is Jesus he's talking about himself when Jesus returns he's talking about when Jesus returns the real Jesus not fake Jesus not fictional Jesus not religious man-made Jesus when actual Jesus say actual Jesus, actual Jesus the actual Jesus the Son of Man returns has Jesus returned so this is applicable right when Jesus actual Jesus returns returns means he's not here he went away are you here you just said he didn't return yet so where must he be oh he's here he's not here he's there where he's going to return return means he was here and now he's going to return and he has not yet returned does this make sense yes. when the son of man actual Jesus returns shall he find something so when say when, when which he hasn't done yet but when he comes he wants to find something here where on the earth so he's looking for something he's gonna want to find say find something, find something. where here. here on the earth so when he comes he's hoping to he's asking the question when I come am I gonna find this thing on the earth well this thing he says faith I'm hoping I can help you along here it's a faith it's a specific kind of faith because he would know that he could return at any given time and find garbage faith he could find all kinds of faiths if we're talking about religion right you find this faith that faith he would natural human faith if you say something to me and I believe you're gonna do it I, that is a type of faith say that's a type of faith right is that the kind of faith he's hoping to come and find no he's, he's he wants to find a specific kind of faith say a specific, a specific kind, kind of faith when he Jesus returns he wants will he find a specific kind of faith now there's many kinds of faiths there's many kinds of belief systems say religions Religion. right yeah. is he gonna find the one he's looking for when he comes he's asking the question mm -hmm. I bet nobody nobody answered him as you can see there they're like <laughs> we don't even know what you're talking about mm -hmm. but we know what he's talking about and I'm gonna walk you through it welcome so this specific kind say specific kind of faith, kind of faith. are you there mm -hmm. he is returning for a specific kind of faith this specific kind of faith can't be one that already has him here he's gonna come is he gonna find faith 
a faith or a belief system of somebody who already has him here but it can't be that kind of faith so it's got to be a kind of faith that was here say was here. was here he's coming to find a kind of faith that was operating without him mm -hmm. personally involved because he went and sat down and he's gonna come back and try to if he was personally involved he would know whether there was gonna be faith there or not also it has to be one that's specific on the earth he's going to find this specific kind of faith say specific kind of faith, kind of faith. on the earth if it means he shall find it it means he wasn't doing something about it mm -hmm. otherwise he wouldn't have to find it he would know about it Amen. are you here reminds me of Luke 8 45 and Jesus said who touched me and when all denied oh, I didn't do it Peter and they that were with him said master the multitude throngs thee and presses thee and sayest thou who touched me and Jesus said somebody hath touched me for I perceive that power or virtue is gone out of me did Jesus know who touched her him so this was operating irrespective of him it was the power of the Holy Ghost that was on him that healed the woman she'd already been doing things and believing God say believing God. believing God she said if I may touch but the hem of his garment I'll be whole Jesus knew nothing about it mm -hmm. and yet she was healed mm -hmm. daughter your faith has made you whole faith that was working that had nothing to do with Jesus doing anything about it mm -hmm. Matthew chapter 8 verse 5 and when Jesus was entered into Capernaum there came unto him a centurion beseeching him and saying Lord my servant lies at home sick of a palsy grievously tormented and Jesus saith unto him I will come and heal him the centurion answered and said Lord I'm not worthy that thou shouldest come under my roof but speak the word only and my servant shall be healed speak the word only say speak the word, speak the word. Only. only and my servant shall be healed when Jesus heard it he marveled and said unto them that followed verily I say unto you I have not found so great faith look he found it say he found it, he found it. I have not found so great faith no not in Israel and I say unto you that many shall come from the east and west and shall sit down with Abraham and Isaac and Jacob in the kingdom of heaven when is it this is later right this isn't right now he said shall but the king, the children of the kingdom shall be cast out into outer darkness and there shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth and Jesus said unto the centurion go thy way and as thou, as thou hast believed so be it done unto thee and his servant was healed in the self same hour so we can see here that Jesus was impressed with the centurion's faith a specific kind of faith say a specific kind of faith, kind of faith. and the only kind of faith that he's interested in we could say it's the only faith what if you made a religion out of this specific kind of faith or what if you made this your mission to have this kind of faith it should be your mission because this is the only kind of faith he's going to return to find mm -hmm. he spoke the word only and believed something would happen so this centurion had faith in Jesus's word he said speak the word only and my servant would be healed right so he had faith in Jesus's word that if Jesus said it Jesus would not have to physically in fact he told him that he said you don't have to come physically say physically, physically. and do something for me say Jesus don't have to come and physically do something for me he spoke the word only and his servant was healed that was a specific kind of faith 
are you here I'm trying to take you somewhere mm -hmm. faith in his word faith in Jesus's word didn't require Jesus to physically go there and do something who healed the servant who went and healed the servant when Jesus said I'm anointed the Spirit of the Lord is upon me he's anointed me to heal without the anointing of the Holy Ghost on Jesus Jesus healed no one so when the servant said you speak the word only and my servant will be healed. who went and healed the servant based on what Jesus said the Holy Ghost so who was this great faith in had to be the Holy Ghost are you seeing this some people are getting it I'm gonna walk you through it I'm not gonna leave you right here we're gonna keep going on this because the faith in the earth that you're supposed to be walking in is a faith in the Spirit of God and his power that's the faith Jesus is gonna to return to can you see that mm -hmm. it wasn't a faith that had to have Jesus doing anything Jesus did not go there Jesus said no I will go and do it anyway he said no you don't have to come just speak the word only and my servant will be healed mm -hmm. who healed him the Holy Ghost healed him yeah. so the man had faith but the faith was in the operation of the Holy Ghost now let me ask you a question did Jesus have faith in the Holy Ghost seems silly doesn't it but you'd wonder based on a lot of people's theology Jesus had faith in the Holy Ghost your servant shall be healed mm -hmm. where was Jesus faith that the Holy Ghost would do the healing if he said it mm -hmm. so where was Jesus's faith in the Holy Ghost very good am I getting some of this across yes. I hope so Luke chapter 5 verse 17 and it came to pass on a certain day as he was teaching that there were Pharisees and doctors of the law sitting by which were come out of every town of Galilee and Judea and Jerusalem and the power of the Lord was present to heal them the power of the Lord was present to heal them what say you does that mean Jesus was there why would it even say the power of the Lord was present to heal them because it wasn't the power of Jesus it was the power of the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. are you here yes. and Jesus had faith in the Holy Ghost and he did some things there you know being moved by the Spirit of God and then miracles took place Jesus had faith in the Holy Ghost the power of the Lord or the Spirit of the Lord mm -hmm. are you here yeah. I need to walk you through this more yeah. so who did the healing the Holy Ghost did the power of the Lord was present the power of the Spirit of the Lord was present mm -hmm. the power of the Spirit Lord was present mm -hmm. the power of the Holy Ghost was present to heal them mm -hmm. it wasn't always present to heal them or it would not have said that so this is the kind of of faith he will return to faith in the power of God faith in the Holy Ghost faith in the Spirit of the Lord and this faith in the Spirit of the Lord is not faith that requires Jesus to do something because he's going to return and find it mm -hmm. say he's going to return, going to return. And, find and find it well who is God in the earth today the Holy Ghost can you have faith in the Holy Ghost yes. this is the faith that Jesus is going to return to mm -hmm. Galatians chapter 3 verse 2 this only say only. only this only would I learn of you now would this be important then if Paul is writing a letter and he says this 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 that he's gonna say this only would I learn of you mm -hmm. learn of you meaning instruct you educate you educate you in the things of the Spirit in the things of your belief in the things of faith in the things of your religion this only would I learn of you say only, only. 
this only would I learn of you received ye the Spirit by the works of the law or by the hearing of faith this is huge received ye the Spirit we've been talking about believing in the Holy Ghost right mm -hmm. that kind of faith on the earth where is the Holy Ghost today he's in the earth received ye the Spirit in whatever capacity you're receiving him in mm -hmm. by the works of the law no but by the hearing of faith mm -hmm. faith yeah faith what kind of faith was Jesus going to return to this people receiving the Spirit by the hearing of faith I hope you're getting this yes only would I learn of you mm -hmm. so this kind of faith that you receive by hearing only would I learn of you received ye the Spirit this is the only faith this is the only faith that exists in the earth that's real faith is faith of receiving the Spirit because he is God in the earth today and by hearing the faith that's in his word I don't care whether people like that or not I'm telling you that is the absolute truth it is the only faith that is real faith that Jesus will return to I hope I brought you up this far this is the only faith now remember we fast forwarded from where Jesus was talking about faith in the Holy Ghost right to Paul and he said this only this only would I learn of you received ye the Spirit by the hearing of faith say only. only this only what I learned this is the only faith it's how God does everything receive ye the Spirit mm -hmm. by the hearing of faith say receive ye the Spirit, receive ye the Spirit. By, the hearing of faith. by the hearing of faith now how does faith come by faith comes by hearing and hearing by the Word of God that's Romans 10 17 mm -hmm. most of us know that faith comes by hearing and hearing but here he says the hearing of faith which means what you heard had to have faith in it that's how you get faith say it's how you get faith, how you get faith. is by hearing mm -hmm. and what are you hearing the Word of God what is the Word of God the word of the Holy Ghost second Peter chapter 1 verse 20 knowing this first that no prophecy of the scriptures of any private interpretation verse 21 for the prophecy came not in old time by the will of man but holy men of God spake as they were moved by the Holy Ghost to have hearing there had to be speaking and if somebody spoke the word what's in that word the hearing of faith the hearing of faith the hearing of faith is you heard the word and you heard the faith whose word was it the Holy Ghost so the first part of the faith that Jesus will return to the first part of the faith or the belief or the religion that Jesus is going to return to this only would I learn of you received ye the Spirit by the hearing of faith and if you still don't believe me let's read this verse of Scripture first Corinthians chapter 2 verse 4 and my speech and my preaching right here's Paul my speech and preaching was not with enticing words of man's wisdom but in demonstration of or open show of the spirit and of power what was his spe speech and preaching an open show of or a revealing of say a revealing of, a revealing of. the spirit and his power mm -hmm. that your faith should not be or stand in the wisdom of men but in 
the power of God God the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. where should your faith stand where should your faith be this only would I learn of you receive ye the Spirit by the hearing of faith your faith should not stand in the wisdom it should be in the power of God my speech and preaching was not with enticing words but in revealing of the Spirit and his power that your faith would be in the Spirit and his power where should your faith be there what faith is Jesus gonna to return to right there that faith that's the only faith say only your faith should be in the power of God only Luke chapter 4 verse 8 Jesus answered and said unto him thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and him only shalt thou serve say him only, him only. again only thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and him only shalt thou serve let me ask you a question if you don't know who the Spirit of the Lord is how are you going to worship him and if you don't know who the Spirit of the Lord is how are you gonna serve him your faith won't be the right kind of faith for Jesus to return to is my point thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and him only shalt thou serve John 4 24 says we know whom we worship God is a spirit and they that worship him say him yeah. they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and him only say him only, him only. shalt thou serve we see here he says worship Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shalt thou serve. Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shalt thou serve. Mm -hmm. Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shalt thou serve. You can, they go together. You won't be able to do the serving part without the worshiping him. And the reason you don't worship him is because you don't know he's God. That's why Paul said, my speech and preaching was in revealing of him. That your faith would be in him mm -hmm. and his power so worship the Lord your God and him only shalt thou serve worship the Lord your God him only shalt thou so sounds religious to me sounds like a faith to me sounds like a belief to me doesn't it mm -hmm. somebody worshiping the Holy Ghost and serving the Holy Ghost say somebody worshiping somebody the, Holy the Holy Ghost and serving and ser the Holy Ghost. the Holy Ghost it also sounds like something that you might possibly be able to find on earth where's the Holy Ghost in the earth is he God he's in the earth if you knew him as God you begin worshiping as God him as God and then you'd be able to serve him as God right mm -hmm. sounds like a faith to me is this fun yet yeah glory be to God forever first Thessalonians chapter 1 verse 9 for they themselves show us what manner of entering in we had unto you and how you turned to God from idols to serve the living and true God they turned from the idol to serve say serve, serve. the living and true God who is the living and true God Holy, Holy Ghost. Ghost other scriptures specifically say that that the Holy Ghost is the living God he's the only God part of the Godhead in the earth today you turn from idols which literally means non speakers because you can understand an idol doesn't say anything right mm -hmm. to serve the Holy Ghost who's the living and true God who does say things mm -hmm. Jesus said thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and him only shalt thou serve so if we're obeying what Jesus said we're gonna only say only, only only be serving the living and true God and wait for it wait for it wait for it and to wait for 
his son from heaven whom he raised from the dead even Jesus which delivered us from the wrath to come we're serving the living God we're worshiping and serving the living God and waiting for mm -hmm. say waiting for, waiting for the return of Jesus and he's going to return and hopefully find mm -hmm. the right kind of faith what would the right kind of faith according to this verse of scripture be people serving the living God well you worship and serve the living God if you don't worship the living God you can't be serving the living God the right way okay. is this making sense mm -hmm. let me read this again and how you turned to God from idols it says to serve thee the implies only mm -hmm. you turn from something that wasn't even a God to serve the say the. the you can put only in there mm -hmm. to serve the only true and living God and his name is the Holy Ghost he's God in the earth today say only, only. he the Holy Ghost only will show you the true Jesus the real Jesus actual Jesus and the Father mm -hmm. he only say only, only. He only will reveal the scriptures to you he the Holy Ghost only say the Holy Ghost only. Holy Ghost he only he only will show you things that are to come or put you into the things that are to come you know what is to come Jesus is return mm -hmm. he only will do it faith in him only will do it it's the only true faith that Jesus will return to he's the one that glorified Jesus past tense mm -hmm. he is the only one that glorifies you from glory to glory even as by the Spirit of the Lord only him it's only him it's only him get that straight Holy Ghost only the only religion it's the only real religion it's the only true faith are you here mm -hmm. received ye the spirit this only would I learn of you did you receive the spirit by the hearing of faith hearing requires speaking and I can't emphasize this enough if you're going to serve this God the Holy Ghost say this God, this God. The Holy Ghost that's in the earth if you're going to serve this God the Holy Ghost it will be by saying words it's how he does things Amos chapter 3 3 says how can two walk together except they be agreed be agreed literally means to say the same thing if you're gonna walk with the true and living God in the earth you will be saying things that he says mm -hmm. and if there's if you're saying things that he says what's in those words well, faith mm -hmm. this only would I learn of you received ye the spirit by the hearing of the word spoken because mm -hmm. you had to have speaking for hearing yep. and faith that was in the words that's the faith Jesus is going to return to and want to find this only God in the earth this Holy Ghost only God in the earth you worship him and you serve him only mm -hmm. are you here yeah. I'm not making this up by saying speaking in agreement with what he says now here's a good example Proverbs 10 22 the blessing of the Lord makes me rich and adds no sorrow with it who said that that is a word of the Holy Ghost when I begin saying that word I begin walking with the Holy Ghost who is God in the earth today I receive the Holy Ghost by the hearing of faith how about this one first Timothy 6 17 living God Holy Ghost gives me richly all things to enjoy when I say that I'm speaking in agreement with him and there's faith his faith in those words to bring itself to pass in my life I'm walking with him 
no one has taken these things as far as they need to go when I say his words the Holy Ghost's words they begin to permeate all of my stuff they begin to permeate all of my being my entire being and existence and I am changed by it well what, what, what if I haven't been changed by it yet then you haven't gone far enough you haven't said it enough you haven't spoken in agreement enough and received the Spirit by the hearing of faith say receive the Spirit, receive the Spirit by, the by the hearing of faith we're talking about the only faith say the only faith, the only faith. Romans chapter 10 verse 6 but the righteousness which is of faith speaks what if it don't speak then it's not the righteousness of faith people say, oh, I don't I don't need to say things to walk with the Holy Ghost then you're not gonna be in the righteousness of faith are you here the righteousness which is of faith speaks on this wise say not in thine heart who shall ascend into heaven that is to bring Christ down from above why would they even say that because that's where he is the righteousness which is of faith doesn't say that who's gonna go and get Jesus to come back and do something for me mm -hmm. who shall descend into the deep that is to bring up Christ again from the dead say again. again does he need to be risen again from the dead no it's a done deal and he sat down mm -hmm. it doesn't say those things but what saith it saith what the righteousness which is of faith the word what saith it the word and whose word would that be by the way the Holy Ghost's word what saith it the word is nigh thee it's in thy mouth and in thy heart that is the word of faith which we preach what faith is Jesus gonna return to find that word one that had was operating in the earth irrespective of anything he did it even said don't say that mm -hmm. they don't say, that. don't say that he doesn't have to do anything he doesn't have to get up and come down and do anything mm -hmm. you speak the word you speak the word only receive you the spirit by the hearing of faith the word of the Holy Ghost in your mouth the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today that you walk with by saying and speaking in agreement with his words this is the only faith I hope I brought you up this far this is the only kind of faith that's in the earth that's real faith this is the only faith that Jesus shall return unto or for the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and we walk with him by saying words this is the only kind of faith that Jesus is going to return to and if we do our job we can hasten mm -hmm. his return let me pray for you people Holy Ghost in Jesus name I thank you that you are resting on these people right now changing them rearranging their thinking so that they can correctly walk with you as God in the earth today I ask you to inspire them to begin using the words I worship you Holy Ghost and as they do says the Spirit of the Lord great changes will take place on the inside of them and they will begin to operate in the true faith the only faith the real faith that perks Jesus up in his ears and his day shall be hastened and we shall see the glory of the Lord in our day and we thank you for it Holy Ghost in Jesus name amen, amen. now I'm gonna receive an offering a tithe and offering Proverbs chapter 10 verse 22 says the blessing of the Lord it makes rich and he adds no sorrow with it say the blessing, the blessing of, the Lord, of the Lord it makes rich it makes and he adds, and he adds no, sorrow no sorrow with it are you blessed of the Lord already yes. yes we have scripture after scripture that say we are blessed of the Lord 
say I am, the Lord. I am blessed of the Lord well if you are blessed of the Lord what does that scripture say about you you are made rich now whether you feel like it or not whether it looks like it or not whether your bank account looks like it or not you are rich Amen. and there's no sorrow added to you it's an actual thing that's added to you I don't imagine it's an actual blessing that's added to you no sorrow added say I am, I am. Made, rich, made rich and there's no sorrow, there's no sorrow added, added to me added. that's who you are you are a rich person and you're someone who has no sorrow added to you yeah. are you getting this yes. all right if you have a tither and offering hold it in your hand say this after me Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. I, worship I worship you I thank you thank that you. I am blessed your blessing is on me I am rich and I have no sorrow added I worship you in Jesus name amen the father is in heaven Jesus at his right God in the earth.